We're going to spend some time now in Joomla setting up our categories, our articles and our menus. And we're going to do a lot of very repetitive work. And before doing so, I want to set up a couple of shortcuts here for, for example, menu items and for template styles. Some of the stuff that I'm going to be accessing again and again. So I'm going to come up here, edit and create some shortcuts. So I want a I want a menu item. I can do that with a count and I want a template style icon. Save and close. So we've got some extra options in here. Let's start now by adding some categories and I've got my little cheat sheet here. So these are the categories I'm going to add. Let's just start with actually what we're going to do is just touch on this, we have a category called uncategorized. So if we were to do just to go straight ahead and make our articles, they would all go into uncategorized. But we're taking the time to create categories and we're going to go one step further. We're actually going to create a English language category. This site is not multilingual as such, but I'm just want to, I just want to future proof this. We can actually skip over this step if we know that it's definitely going to be a single language site. Save and close. Now this is basically the top of the pyramid, so it's not inside any other category. But from here on in, we're going to be creating categories and they will be inside the English category. As mentioned, the language side of things is optional. I'm just doing it this way. It's kind of a question, it's a kind of a question of taste, if you will, or future proofing. English, save and close. We'll actually go, just go save and new. And we're going to go through this and create our categories. Taking care, in our case at least, to put these in to the English category. All right, save and close. So we've got a category set up here and they will link to articles, but we have also a login page. So let's just create a separate category for that. And I'm going to use this as a system category, which means really any kind of Joomla nuts and bolts stuff will come in here. So it's an exception to the rule, if you will. Let's now go and create our articles. We have no articles as of such. Our home menu is actually already there, but it is actually being pointed to feature articles and we have no articles whatsoever, and we definitely do not have any featured articles. So this is kind of like a kind of a dummy placeholder kind of thing. Let's go to our articles and start creating our articles. Add your first article. And first article is Hello World. Put that in there. We can auto generate an alias from the name. And we're going to put this now in a category, seeing as how we went to the trouble to set that up. We select the category hello. And I'm going to just put in a dummy text there. And we're going to go and save and new. Let's just go through these here. So this is going to be exclusive fruits. This is going into fruits. Take the text here and take this section here. Save and new. And bear in mind, there's actually nothing actually happening in the front end because we still have to create our menu here. So this is all kind of going on in the background. It's simmering underneath the surface of the site, if you will. Vegetables. 
So this is hand-picked vegetables. Let's get this, whoops, get this here. Put that in here. And let's just save and close this, just to have a little look in the back end to see what's happening. So we have our articles piling up here. We're gonna come in here now and do baskets, baskets of joy. And get the text. Absolutely no formatting going on here as of now. I'm just really, this is extremely bare bones about, about us. And I wonder if I got the category right in the previous one. I'm going to have to go back and check that. Let's get the text in here. And save and close. So I've got my item set up here. And I see here my baskets of joy are going into uncategorized. I've actually made a couple of mistakes here. Let's just fix that very quickly. In my excitement, I got a little bit confused here. Save and close. And handpicked vegetables. This is going to go into vegetables, obviously. Save and close. So that is all looking pretty good. Everything is in the appropriate category. And as of now, we have absolutely nothing happening in the front end. But we're going to get to the menu. And that's where things start happening. I'm going to go to menu item. And this is going to featured articles. If we were to start featuring these articles here, they would actually turn up in the on that menu. Let's just do that for a laugh. Let's take these two here. And then we go to the front end and we refresh and we have them turn up here. But that's obviously not what we want to do. I'm going to unfeature those. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And we're in the menu section. And we're going to collect, and we're going to click on this menu here, the home menu start. And we're going to basically rewire this, if you will. So we're changing from menu item type. And we're going to go to articles. Yes, sure. But we don't want the featured articles. We want to go to a single article. And once we select the single article, we have a new option here, which means we can select the actual particular article itself. And in this case, we're going to take Hello World and we are going to save it. And now we go to the front end and we refresh and drum roll we have our first article turning up here at the front end. Obviously, it's not looking pretty. We've got a lot of stuff here that we don't necessarily want turning up at the front end. We will get to that later. We'll do some rather deep cleaning and get that looking all a little bit snazzier. Just also bear in mind, we've got these little items here like menu items with little dots, little colored dots. So that I guess is a kind of a bluey dot, a green dot, a pink dot. These are all extra asteroid options that are now turning up in parts of the Joomla back end. But none of this is actually kind of hacking into the Joomla back end, if you will. It's basically seamlessly linked up in the background. We've got custom code here as well. And it's all done in a rather sophisticated manner. Let's just continue here making these um, save and close. I'm going to continue. I'm going to make some new menus here. So I have my cheat sheet here. And I'm going to go and create a fruits menu, which I will obviously link up to the fruits article. Let's maybe, maybe give this a capital F fruits menu type. And from here on in, we're obviously actually creating menu items. And we are going from scratch here. So this is exclusive fruits. And let's go here and do save and new. And all of these are going into the main menu here. So we're going to go and go through this. And select 
this is going to be vegetables, I believe. Save and new. I have to give it a title, obviously. Vegetables. Save and new. So we see in the front end, by the way, this is all beginning to take shape. So we've got fruits, we've got vegetables, and we're going to go through here and basically do the rest of these. Go to the front end. So we're kind of slowly getting there. Let's do one more menu here. Let's do the login menu. As mentioned, that's a little bit different. And we're going to go here, new, select, and rather than articles, we're going to do users. And we're going to do a login form. And that's pretty much it. We need to give it a name this time, obviously, login, rather than forgetting all the time. And we save it. And we go to the front end, refresh login so now we have a very very simple login page this is a system page this is kind of a, a joomla core page now you could use a login page for a whole variety of reasons you might want to for example grant access to your site to different people you might want to have say an exclusive part of the site where you pay but you have to go through a paywall to get in to look at some content or you might even have it divided up so you would have a team fruit and a team vegetable and you might have people coming in here and posting stuff about vegetables and another set of people coming in here and posting stuff about fruits so it can help you to kind of uh, do a divide and conquer thing where you can regulate who gets access to the back end and what parts of the back end and who gets access to the front end and what parts of the front end. We're going to add a couple of photos, some very, very basic images. That's what we're going to do next.